Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Since Halloween weekend is in a few days, I have five super spooky games that'll get you really in the mood for this spooky season. From anxiety riddled horror survivals, mystical fantasy adventures from the developers of Skyrim and Fallout, and for the online gamers, the zombie game that everyone is talking about. So let's go. The first game I'd recommend on my list is the Silent Hill 2 remake that came out October 7th. This game is literally the definition of high anxiety horror with plenty of jump scares, creepy and crazy enemies and moments that will have you like, no, I don't want to go down the creepy dark stairs. Good luck getting through that game without chest pains because from start to finish, my anxiety and my curiosity was just peak. You play as James, a poor misfortunate widower who is in Silent Hill looking for his not so dead wife, Mary. It's a, it's a whole can of worms. If you're more into online multiplayer games, then I got you covered too. Daisy just announced its first expansion on the 15th of October called Frostline, which is literally the game's first ever expansion since it came out in 2013, like 11 years ago. If you're a zombie survivalist fan, this might be the game for you. You start this game off on the coast with nothing but the clothes on your back and some bandages. Then you can either team up with your friends or go solo to find supplies and resources to survive this zombie infested world. The new expansion will apparently get you into the autumnal winter mood with the introduction of a new harsh snowy winter climate. So now you can run from zombies and worry about getting frostbite too. All the survivors are out there saying yes, absolutely, that's for me. If you're more into indie games though, this next one might be a small hidden gem for you. From some of the Bethesda team that brought us Skyrim, Fallout 3, 4, 76, and Metroid, the Axis Unseen is a monster hunter horror game where you must hunt Norse mythological monsters to collect information on them and find altars to become stronger. This game is basically Monster Hunter meets Skyrim and I didn't know I needed that until I saw this game. This game looks proper cool and spooky. The map looks really big with plenty of mysterious places to explore and oh my god it's Aaron Yeager! If you like mythological or exploration games I'd say definitely give this a shot if you have a PC because it's unfortunately only available on Steam for now but maybe if it gets enough hype that could change. This is another PC game that I've been super excited for for absolutely weeks and I'm so happy to say that it's finally out and it's amazing. Don't Scream is a PC exclusive survival horror game that was released Halloween 2023 and the objective of the game is to survive for 18 minutes but the catch is it's super scary and it's a horror game filled with skinwalkers, ghosts, spiders and loads of spooky things to jump out and scare you and if you make any noise over a whisper it's over, you're dead and you have to start again. On the 28th of October, Don't Scream 1.0 came out and now it has loads of new features such as the enemies can now kill you, there's loads of more areas on the map, 71 new areas to be exact, and there's lots of new scares to keep you on your toes. I actually really like this game and I think it has so much replayability because there's so many locations to discover. The locations are actually really scary, like you're looking around this place and you're like, oh my god, this place is so spooky, I do not want to be here right now. So I'd really recommend downloading that game this weekend. At this point, Point, you're probably like, Clara, if you show me any more forest survival horror games, I'm leaving. And I'm gonna be like, what about a Lovecraftian man-eating octopus monster horror set in the middle of the ocean on an oil rig? Still Wakes the Deep is a psychological horror developed by the Chinese room and published by Secret Mode. You play as an electrician and everything is going good until a malfunction happens on the oil rig and things start getting weirder and weirder. This game is a shorty at only 4 hours but it's a goldie and has gotten amazing reviews across the board since its release on June 18th this year. This game would literally be the worst nightmare for anyone who's thalassophobic, aquaphobic, claustrophobic, agoraphobic. How many more phobias do you need in one game? I am also terrified of any deep water, ocean or otherwise. And apparently this game's story and character development is just as good as the horror aspects, so I'll definitely be getting my hands on this this weekend. And that's gonna wrap up our list. If there's any games that I didn't get to or if I've missed that are having really cool Halloween events, please put them in the comment section because I'm sure other people would like to see them. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a comment that you liked it, drop a like, drop a sub and have a great Halloween weekend. Please be safe and hopefully see you in the next video. Shalon!